what is going on everyone it's your boy cool welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making a beat for unknown t's new album so yeah unknown t recently announced a new album i believe it's called who said drill is dead at least that's uh what it says on the instagram post i have pulled up here um you know it could, it could be just like a drill album you know I'm, I'm trying to cover all my bases here but basically we're gonna be making a drill beat for that from scratch so unknown t is a big fan of sort of more orchestral in a way uh production like strings and stuff um some vocals here and there so you know that's what sort of inspired me um the only sound i have up right now is this uh morin Kerr low sustain sound i do not know if i pronounced that right but it sounds really cool um I have a little idea so let's just jump into it and start playing some stuff in i'm gonna speed it up to around i would say 140 we just 140 So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some string texture. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is add a bunch of strings and then export it out and chop it up, like make our own sample and add some stuff on top, and then we'll bounce it out as a loop and then make a beat with it. So I'm gonna record this in here. Let's dive into it. All right, so we're starting to have something to shape up here. All right, so I grabbed this uh, vocalize bank in uh, contact, and I'm gonna have some vocals on the top so we can chop them up. So I doubled the length of the phrase that we had and you know just looping everything we had before just so we could have more unique vocal phrases so we would have more sort of bits to choose from when we're chopping it up. Alright I think that's all the sort of elements that I'm going to do for chopping the sample um, but we got to mix it now. Alright so for mixing I just do some light EQs you know I don't want it to sound perfect like a like a modern sort of recorded song like i want it to sound more natural so when we chop it, it sounds you know like more like a sample one piece of advice i will give though is um when you pitch up or down something like when you're sampling it sometimes certain frequencies shine uh more and it may sound different if you pitch it up or down a certain way what i mean by that is sometimes like when you pitched down a song the vocal will pop out more when you pitch up a song the vocal will, will pop out more so i like to sort of avoid that by um, dropping this uh, stereo shifter, this pitch shifter on the uh, the master and just sort of m messing around with the pitch to make sure like the vocals aren't like super duper loud, you know, when you pitch it up and down to certain frequencies because sometimes that happens. <laughs> All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do next um, is I'm gonna put Edison on the master here and I'm going to set a loop so it's slightly more, um, you know, past our 16 bar phrase. And I'm just gonna record this whole thing into Edison. So what I'm gonna do in Edison here is just trim the noise, trim out the, uh, the, the, the blank spaces and then drag that in to here. That way, if we want to make changes, like we, we start chopping it, we're like, oh, it would sound crazy if there's a vocal in this spot. We can just unmute all the stuff that I just muted and make that change. So, we, you know, normally when you consolidate, it gets rid of everything. You know, this, this allows you to you know, have a more 
seamless workflow. But yeah, basically I'm just gonna bounce this into Slicer. We're gonna set the BPM half of what the project is right now. So that's gonna be 70 as opposed to 140. And uh, we can just start messing with chopping it up. All right, so I've been messing around um, off camera and I found this pattern that I like. You know, when it comes to finding sample chops, you like, my, my best advice is just to mess around with it. You know, I'll just be sitting here banging on the keys, you know, just, just trying to find something I like. There's no really rhyme or reason to it that I have at least. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna record this in. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, melody since we already imported it in, and uh, I'm just gonna play it out real quick. And what I like to do when I sample out of the samplers, I like to just boost the project BPM by two. Um, I find that you know gets rid of you know any sort of mishaps with timing and anything, so it just makes it sound better. All right, so I'm liking that, so I'm gonna get rid of, um, you know, sort of our fail safe in case we didn't like it. And I'm gonna bounce this out. Um, time selection. Actually, I don't wanna do that. Um, make sure you deselect the uh, selection. Bounce that out. And we'll start adding some other stuff to it. All right, so just added a few effects here. Um, normally when I bounce something out, I'll, I'll you know try experimenting with reversing it. Did that and like how it sounded. So uh, just some simple EQ. I'm getting some rid of some problem frequencies and cleaning up the low end, and then just some RC20. Alright, so next thing I'm gonna be adding is a synth bass. So I pitched up the melody a little bit, so I think it's an E minor now. Um, yeah, it's just a little synth preset I have in here. Um, Sometimes I like to mess around with it, you know, try out something different on the oscillator. That sounded dirty, that sounded nice. Alright, so the loop is done. I'm just gonna export it and then we're gonna move on to drums. Alright guys, so I've loaded up a new FLP, got the uh, the loop all stemmed out, added a little EQ, but you know, other than that, we're on a fresh template. Let's start with the drums.
right, so starting to lay out the beat. I think we got everything done. I'm really hyped with how this came out, so I can't wait to play the full thing for you guys. All right, guys, so I got everything laid out. Um, just added like a riser effect and uh, a tag. Sick and 808 pattern it has like one change. I mean, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Keeping it simple, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna play the final beat. Hey, cool. Yeah, guys, so that is the final beat. I am going to upload this full beat to BeatStars. Link in the description if you want to listen to the full thing. Go in the comments, drop me some feedback. Let me know what artist you want me to make a beat for next. Hit the like, subscribe button, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Okay.